No one really cares, pop them gats or the magic. Just need a kick, stand to put me in the mood. You're watching Similar to Sessions. My name's Maggie and I'm here with Descriptic. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's good. So you're an MC and a producer? Yes, I am. And yeah. you just released Kicksnap? Yep, uh, my first official single. Yeah, um, that's just, exciting. Yeah, just a few months ago. Yeah. Been making music for a while and yeah. thought, you know what? I think I should take this a little more seriously. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so here we are. And you say it's quite like a personal song to you. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty personal. I mean, yeah. it, it works on a number of different levels. Yeah. Um, initially, I, I crafted it as a, as a song just to talk about mm -hmm. what it's like for an artist yep. struggling yep. to make it as an artist. Um, and then it ended up becoming this kind of comparison of uh, struggle between mm -hmm. an artist and society yeah, yeah. Um, so, so just like different stories into time yeah and it was basically how my issues that i have with society is mm -hmm. basically the same issues that i have with me not chasing my dreams yeah okay um, yeah, yeah yeah so it's kind of like this layered arty That's kind awesome. of um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah so it's kind of just whatever kind of the situation is the undertone or the message is kind yeah, of the same yeah right? um yep. so it's it's straightforward in a lot of parts yeah, of it. a yeah. lot of parts are it gets quite complicated it gets pretty obviously. complicated and then we yeah. try to explain it you're like yeah. Uh, you know what, just, just listen to it, <laughs> just, just, just listen to it, come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you do it now, like why now? Um, I just thought now is about the time yeah. that my art form has mm -hmm. gotten to a point that I'm actually confident mm -hmm. in. Um, I've you been, started at quite a young age, yeah, right? Like that's 16 it. or something? Yeah, probably mm -hmm. when I was around year 7, so okay. um, maybe I was around 13, 14 when I mm -hmm. first started writing lyrics. Um, yeah. They were more just, you know, kind of I like a diary that rhymed, yeah, um, yeah. basically, and um, yeah. So I've just started being, I've just started rapping mm -hmm. since I was like 15, and I thought, you know what? Mm -hmm. I think it's gotten to a point where I can actually move on um, and actually get other people to hear it, apart from yeah. my friends and family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so far so good. So. Oh, good. Uh, um, and you were from Chile, or you were born in Chile, right? And yeah. then did you migrate to Australia? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. um, I came here when I was around uh, a year and a half old. Oh, okay, so um, quite young. Quite young, mm -hmm. and then I've lived all over the world um, yeah. since Vanuatu, oh, wow. um, New Zealand, and yeah. yeah. So I've kind of had a, a bit of a world experience yeah. growing up. Mm -hmm. But Australia's always been basically home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what other projects are you working on now? Uh, at the moment, just piling up mm -hmm. music. Uh, mm -hmm as I have been pretty much my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now things things are starting to get a little more serious. Mm -hmm. So the, the next movie is to release probably a mixtape. Oh, um, mm -hmm. And now it's just a matter of fine tuning which tracks Definitely. out of so many to yeah. pick from. And, yeah. um, and then, yeah, and also starting to get connections to collaborate to make things yeah. a little bit bigger than yeah, of course. just me. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So are you thinking of working with local artists, international artists or? Um, basically not? whoever I can actually find that I like, that, um, that, that wants to actually collaborate, suits yeah. my style. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty much open for everything right yeah. now. I'm specifically looking for singers as well. Okay. Um, because just being a, like, a solo act for yeah. so long, mm -hmm. All my choruses have just basically been me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm not quite as adept at singing as I wish uh, I was. Okay. Um, so yeah. basically, yeah, I, I'm looking for more singers to collaborate with, yeah. and of course, rappers as well. Yeah, definitely. And um, that'll probably be for the, the next mixtape, which mm -hmm. would, I'm thinking might en end up actually being an EP. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who was the first rapper that you ever listened to <sighs> that made you just want to be like, I want to do this? this yeah, is it. yeah, yeah. Uh, probably Eminem, actually. Really? It would probably be Eminem. Okay. Um, I was maybe, I don't know, 13, 14, mm -hmm. and I think, I think My Name Is came out or something. Yeah, yeah. I think it was My Name Is, mm -hmm. and um, I hadn't really heard rap before. Yeah. I think, you know, the, the only kind of rap I'd heard was like dudes that would just appear in pop songs, uh, and that yes. would be the rap part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember like when Five had yeah. like the rapper? <laughs> yeah. I used to be like, that is the coolest <laughs> thing ever. That is yeah. rap, you know? Yeah. And but then I heard like uh, Eminem come out mm -hmm. with like his really unique style of rap, and I was like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. And is that swearing? <laughs> oh my gosh, is my mom would hate that? this. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then after that, it was just like expanding who's he worked yeah. with, mm -hmm. who's that guy. Okay, and then so I got into the whole West started. Coast side. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the rest is history, I guess. Amazing. So, yeah. So who are your influences now then? Now, um, well, if we're looking at just hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, it could be anyone. Yeah, okay. Well, I make all kinds of music. I, yeah. I love orchestra, a lot of orchestra. Oh. I love film soundtracks. Yeah. Um, favorite film soundtrack? Do you have one? Favorite film soundtrack? It might 
be the music from um, the mission. Okay. It's like a, yeah, it's an 87, 87 drama. Oh, uh, but yeah, um, oh, I could go on and on with yeah, soundtracks because I'm a huge film buff oh, as well. Really? That's like a, oh, my second okay. life. Don't tell yeah. rap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I think that's the same as R.A. the Rugged Man. He loves yes, his films. That's yeah. exactly it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but when it comes to hip hop, I'm into, you know, say Kendrick, uh, J. Cole, mm-hmm. Tech Nine, obsessed with Tech Nine right yeah. now, uh, Yellow Wolf, loving Yellow Wolf. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, so kind of all over the, all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's quite mixed. Like, you like to kind of mix your genres around, don't you? I really do, yeah. yeah. Um, if, so, say, when I'm recording at, mm. you know, home or whatever, if, I actually really try to make sure that the ne- the next song is never the same. Yeah. So I'll oh, okay. I'll really look at the song that I just recorded and yeah. be like, okay, so no, 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 no for the next mm. track, um, and try to mix it up like that yeah, because yeah. if not, I become repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. So. so you want it to be quite different. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's exciting. That'd be quite complicated, wouldn't it? It, it does get a little complicated. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah it's just, I was just talking to someone earlier, and yeah. um, we were saying like when you actively try to do something different yeah. you inevitably kind of end up falling into like a, a loop yes and you're like oh so me not wanting to do that thing different made me it's do the exact exactly. same thing <laughs> yeah so yeah it's, it's a matter of like not I listening to my exactly yeah, yeah. So, yeah i think i kind of get the same when i'm writing something and i'm like no i'm gonna write something different and then i end up writing the same thing that i just wrote and i'm like I'm you not trick yourself look at right? this anymore exactly exactly <laughs> like and i tend to you know like um i, I go okay so that topic of not wanting to, you know, say, say for example, the topic that I tend to always fly back to is um, making it as a rapper, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so um, it'll be like a song about, I don't know, a party. Yes. And then somehow I'm looking at the end of it like, <laughs> how did this become a song about making it as a rapper? I swear it starts Maybe off with like, I'm drinking. Party and then you want it to be a rapper. <laughs> exactly. It so, leads uh, up to it, I yeah, guess. <laughs> it's, it's the internal battle. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's going well. and You are actually kind of keeping it up, changing it up a little I bit. I think so. I think I you just need to give yourself a little bit of a break in between them. And I know. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly it. Yeah. And now it's just a matter of finding time. Definitely. Uh, you know, between, you know, having to get the, the nine to five money yeah, yeah, um, yeah. to support your family so and whatever. Yeah, yeah, so that's where the struggle lies right now. Yeah, of course. Um, art and responsibilities. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we look forward to hearing your new stuff. Kicks Now was awesome. I really Great. enjoyed it. Thank so you. we look forward to, I guess, hearing the more diverse sound of you and different yeah. tracks and see how you progress. Great. Super Thanks. Super exciting. We'll do. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. You're welcome. You're watching Similar Sessions. My name's Maggie. And I can spit a little bit of a hypocritical cynic, man. I'm a critic who spins a sin every little minute a minute. Ain't that the truth? Since a badass youth thinking I was cool. Lighting up the back of school. Getting high in these damn roofs. Ain't no gratitude. Just some defiance to define.